Good morning, everybody. Welcome back to another episode of Homestead Living. My name is Cobra Joe. Uh, last episode, we made it to Hydro Carter Dam uh, over in the Mystery Lake region. Uh, we spent the night. Uh, I made the food from that deer outside. Uh, cooked that up real good. I haven't eaten it yet, but I did cook it up. Uh, we also found a couple of uh, broken arrows, so we broke those down for the arrowheads and the crow's feathers. Also prepared some more teas, some reishis and rose hips. And the reason I wanted to do that was because um, I wanted to test out the insulated flask. We got this insulated flask, um, and I want to try using this thing out. I was hoping maybe I could put it up on the fire and just heat up the whole flask, but that doesn't work. You can't put it down by the fire to, to heat up the whole flask all at once. So we're kind of just stuck with doing it the old-fashioned way, and then we'll just transfer it in. Which I guess is fine, but slightly not what I was expecting. Um, or not particularly what I was expecting. Um, so we've got these teas going. I got about 40 minutes on this fire. Let's, um... So what we're gonna do is we're going to, uh... Oh, let's pull out the Storm Lantern. Uh, we'll use this one, right? Let's quickly look around here, down at the bottom over here. I also dropped the deer hide and the guts. We'll take the hide. I don't know if we're going to take the guts. We'll probably take the guts, but I don't know. Take a quick look around. Fortunately for us, there was no Aurora last night. I know these wires become lively at night. Uh, or like during an Aurora. And uh, they actually hurt you. So for fortunately enough for us, that did not happen, which is good. Uh, so we're just going to take a quick look around while those teas are warming up. I gave them a little jiggle jiggle. So they shouldn't burn on us, which is really good. Uh, we just want to see if there's anything in here that we want to take uh, before we continue on our venture to the other parts of the dam. Um, we're going to just look quick. We, we're on a timer because I don't want those teas to get cold. I don't think I'm going to need them, but I want to test out that flask. And that's kind of my, my thought. Is I want to test out that flask and see how long... Do those teas actually last for? At least get some semblance of an idea um, in the flask. You know, is it is it a big issue? I, I like the flask regardless. Oh, we might throw that on there just to give us a little bit more time. I think the flasks are cool regardless. Um, and honestly, I would like to have a bunch more um, if we can find them. But obviously, that's going to be up to the loot gods. So, uh, hatchet. We'll take the hatchet. Uh, what I'm prepping to do here is um honestly what i'm prepping to do here is set up a base in mystery lake either at camp office or at uh trappers presumably to kind of base out while we explore this region uh camp office has always been my favorite so i'm 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 leaning towards camp office but you know, we'll see. All right, these are still hot. We got 12 minutes. Let's uh, throw that firewood on there. That's good. But we'll see. We might do something different. We might do something different. I don't know. I was also doing a little bit of thinking. Uh, these simple tools are going to stay here. We're not going to take these with us, I don't think. I was also doing some thinking, too. And uh, I think we're not going to forge in Desolation Point. For one reason, to get to Desolation Point, um, so I'm going to Mystery Lake. To get to Desolation Point, we got to go from Mystery Lake through the, the ravine, or like through the transition zone there, to Coastal Highway, through Coastal Highway, through another transition zone to get to Desolation Point. And while that's all well and good, that's a lot. That's a lot of stuff. That's a lot of stuff. There's a lot of places to go. But to get to Forlorn Muskeg, you just gotta go to Mystery Lake and then go to the other side and go to Forlorn Muskeg. Oh, wow, cabin fever risk. Oh, interesting. I've never gotten that before. Um, that should be okay. It should be all right. We'll take a look at that in a minute. I wanna go um, over here and see what the loot looks like over in this area. I don't need that. I don't need that. I know sometimes there's a corpse over here. Uh, there's a flare. I'll take that. Um, cabin fever risk. Interesting. That's a security camera. That's cool. I've never noticed that before. 
let's see here. Um, let's put away this lantern. Let's, uh, we're gonna take that. We're gonna take all of these. We'll even grab the reishis. The reishis aren't gonna fit in the insulated flask, though. We're just gonna fill up the insulated flask with a bunch of teas. Uh, we're gonna put these down here. And we're just gonna take some torches. So we're gonna kill this fire with torches. And, um, get going from that way. Uh, back to the rest of the dam to go loot that. Uh, you know what? I don't even want that torch. Oh, I can't even throw it. That's lame. I can't throw it because it's not lit, and now I can't take another torch. Alright, this is an 81% pot. This is an 86% pot. We're gonna take that one. We're gonna leave this one here. I don't know if we're gonna come out this way. Um, or not. Let's light up a torch. I don't know if we're gonna come out this way or not. Uh, to go back to Pleasant Valley. So we'll just leave that there for now. That's fine. Uh, and then I think this is the way, either this is the way we came, or this is the way we need to go. No, this is the way we need to go, because we didn't loot that corpse. Let me take a quick look around here. We'll drop more stuff off. We're over in Cumber now. We're going to drop more stuff off in the main lobby of the dam. Um, just because, oh, I want to look at that cabin fever risk too. Cabin fever risk. You've been indoors so long, you were starting to feel very uneasy. Spend some time outdoors before it gets worse. It's 22%. We should be okay. We're gonna be outside soon. And then uh, we're gonna be doing a little bit of traversal outside and maybe we'll do some fishing or something. I don't know. I don't know what we're gonna do yet, but we'll figure that out. I don't think it's gonna be that big of an issue. That's a revolver cartridge. We'll take that. Um, oh, there's that spray paint I wanted and some more matches, which is good for us. Jerry can is good. We can refuel our storm lantern. There's an e-stem on the bottom over here, I see. I'll grab that real quick. Let's search these filing cabinets. Alright, so we got some more matches from the filing cabinets. That's good. Um, since we have that jerry can now, let us, um, let's go to our storm lanterns. Let's refuel both of them. I'm not going to use both of them, but let's refuel both of them since we have it. Maybe we can just drop off this jerry can. We're just going to drop this for now. And then let's take a look at our rose hip tea. It's, I mean, it's still warm. That's, that's good. We're gonna leave that jerry can there. We can always refuel back on the way out. But this gives us more light, which is nicer, and doesn't have nearly as much of a, a burn time. We'll leave that spray paint there and search this locker for nothing. Uh, come over here. We'll search this locker. We don't have a pry bar, so we can't search all of them. But we can search certain ones, which is nice. Uh, we'll take that fishing tackle. That's fine. Um, let's search this. I'm not gonna take the water from the toilets because we don't need it. Um, I have a ton of water on me. Oh, there's a pry bar. We'll use that to search in here and then we'll probably drop it. Old man's lichen. That's fine. Yeah, we're not gonna take the water from here because we don't need it. Uh, let's drink while I'm thinking about it. <clears throat> I don't know who put a stick in the trash can. That's very interesting to me. Alright, let's force open this locker. We're not gonna go back for the other ones, but we'll definitely get this one. Can opener. I don't need that can opener. Yeah, we won't go all the way back, but we'll definitely... We'll definitely, uh, go back a little bit. Let's, um... While I'm here, let's drop some of this stuff that we know we're not gonna take or, like, need on us while we're in here. Like, these guns and things. Uh, we can probably drop... Let's actually eat these peaches. This could give us food poisoning. Nope, no food poisoning. That's fine. Um... Drop that, and that, and that. We're just dropping some clothes. 
just trying to lower away. It sounds like it's a freaking nightmare out there right now. Let's take a look outside real quick. Oh yeah, it's going pretty hard. We still have some more stuff to do in the dam, so that's totally fine. Uh, we still have some more places to loot in here. So that's totally fine that it wants to blizzard out right now. We're gonna hope that it clears up by the time that we want to leave. Nothing in this desk. Come on, don't do that. I didn't really drop too much stuff. Just a couple of small things, just to lower our weight a little bit. But I can actually feel a difference in our movement. Decent sweatshirt, we'll take that. Uh, let's take a look real quick, actually. Is that better than anything? This is at 73%. Yeah, no, decent sweatshirt is not that good. This stuff can all be harvested for cloth later if we want it. Those clothes. Let's go back to the uh, locker over somewhere. Oh, it was one of these lockers, wasn't it? It was this one? Nope, not that one. We're going to leave that spray paint. There was a locker that I needed to search over here that we weren't able to search because we didn't have a pry bar. Maybe it was over this way. Ah, yeah, was, I think it was over here. Yeah, there we go. There's two of them here. Like I said, we're gonna try and go full bow. I said this last episode, we're gonna try and go full bow and arrow. Uh, from here on out, climbing socks? Yeah, we'll take those. I don't think I need them, but we'll take them. So I have the guns on me, but I don't think we're gonna use them. Uh, I really just want to bring them to camp office and drop them. I might even just leave them here, to be honest. Um, I might even just leave them here. I don't know. I'm debating if I want to leave them here or if I want to take them to camp office with us. Just so we have access to them that's not at the dam. I don't need that paper. I'm going to leave those books that are there. Oh, there's another Storm Lantern? We're gonna not- we're not leaving with three Storm Lanterns. Although, I will be honest, it was kind of fun having a bunch of Storm Lanterns that we could just burn while we were... While we were, uh... Whatever. Crafting. There we go. Got it. Uh, what was that? Like, 14? Let's go, cross your fingers. Boots. Rifle ammo. Yay! Um, let's take a look at those boots. These are good boots. We're gonna drop these. We're gonna put these with the rest of the clothes up front. up in the lobby, because I'll probably break these down. Those are insulated boots. Kind of open for mucklucks. I did find mucklucks once in a safe. It was really awesome. It's open for mucklucks, but, uh, you know, no, no dice on that today. That's okay. Um, anything else in here? Nothing, nothing here, nothing here. We got these books, but I don't really feel like taking them. Oh, there's another Frontier Shooting Guide book. That's good on the ground. Um, I don't mind the books, because when I want to pass time, I at least feel like I'm being productive. Bandage and a sewing kit. We have tons of food. We still have that deer on us, which we may or may not eat before we leave here. Um, something like... Three pounds of meat, I think. But I can't wait to get back to camp to, to get to camp's office, camper's office, camp's office, whatever it's called. Can't wait back to the, get to the camper's office. I like that spot a lot. It's probably one of my favorite bases in the game. I know it's a lot of people's favorite bases in the game. Just feels so homey. It feels so nice. Um, and it just I just I like that. I like Mystery Lake as a region a lot. Oh, God, it sounds so bad out. All right, we're going to come over into this area. We're going to go down first, because down doesn't lead anywhere. We're just going to check this out. 
See if there's something back here. I don't think there is. Nothing in the back there. We got a can of spray paint, but we'll leave that for now. And now let's go up. That's a broom, which we will leave. And now we go up again. A light shell is nice. All right. I think that's about all we got here. Water bottle. Search these drawers here. I thought I searched this already, but I guess not. Nothing in any of these drawers so far. Nothing in the trash can. But yeah, we're going to set up a small base over in um, public camp office. Hang out there for a while. We'll take the deer hide with us. We'll get that cured. If we can leave there with deer skin pants, I'm happy. Uh, again, the moose hide satchel would be great. Uh... I don't really know what else we're looking for. Better clothes, I suppose, as always. Um, although our clothes are pretty solid. Um, really, we're not we're not gathering too much out of here. We need to find the heavy hammer, that's for sure. Um, I think we're gonna head to Forlorn Muskeg for that. I think there's usually one that spawns over there. So hopefully we can find the one in Forlorn Muskeg. If we don't, then we will have to go to Desolation Point to forge. Which I don't really want to do. Uh, just because it's so far. And I feel weird about not looting places. You know, like, I don't like just like, I don't like... Yeah, could I get through Coastal Highway quick? Sure, I absolutely could get through Coastal Highway quick. Could I get through, you know, the transition zones quick? Yeah, I could. Um, but I don't like missing stuff like that, you know? Like, I don't like... I don't like just zipping through. Like, if I'm gonna go to a region, I want to explore it, you know? I like I like the regions. I want to check it out. I want to hit up the prime locations. I want to, you know, see the things. We'll leave that book. So, I don't... I feel weird. Not that I can't do it. It just feels weird to not... To, like, zip through and be like, Oh, yeah, like, we're just gonna go all the way through these regions and we're just gonna go hit the forge and then leave, you know? Oh, I'll take a tin of coffee. That's good. You guys already know I have an issue with loot hoarding. So... Having... It's like having... It's like seeing a treasure chest and being like, I don't know what's in it, but I'm not gonna open it. It's like, no, you, you gotta you gotta see what's in it. It kills me inside a little bit. I didn't mean to take that. Alright. I think that about does it for the dam. I think the whole dam is just about looted. We're gonna... As we walk back to that main area, we're just gonna kinda... Scan over some stuff. See what we have. See what we need. Maybe I will grab a book. Let's take a look at our insulated flask. It's only 50% hot now, but it's been a while, so I think it's pretty. It's lasting pretty well, pretty long. Go down one more. I'm gonna go here. Uh, did I miss anything in here? It's about 50% warm. Can we drink from the insulated flask? No, it's just for. Containing? I can't... I can't drink from it. That's so... That's lame. I hope they fix that. Like, let me drink from the insulated flask. You know what I mean? Like, it's a flask. You can drink from it. It's like a thermos. You could drink from a thermos. Just let me drink from the thermos. Alright. Uh, let's pick up all the stuff that we dropped while we contemplate life choices, what we're bringing, what we're not bringing with us. We cannot bring this all. We are moving at a snail's pace. So we are going to be dropping some stuff. Let's drop the books. We'll drop unaccelerant. I don't need any of this tinder. I have the fire striker. That's fine. I don't even need, feel like I need all these matches, but I'm not going to drop the matches. Stims are good. The reishis are good. 
Uh, okay, here's what we're gonna do actually too. Uh, let's go here. Let's, uh... Oops, I didn't mean to do that. That's fine though. Actually, that's, that's totally fine. Let's, uh, refuel this lantern. Let's refuel this lantern. And let's refuel this lantern. Oh, that lantern's full. Are all the lanterns full? Point two six, point two six, point two six. All right. Hundred percent, seventy six percent, fifty percent. We'll take the hundred percent lantern. We'll leave the other two here. Uh, let's drop a can. Let's drop the thing. We're gonna drop the marine flare, pry bar, revolver. Actually, you know what? We'll take the revolver, and we're gonna do this too. Let's reload. Beautiful. And now let's pull out the rifle, and we'll reload this. And now we'll drop them. So I'll have to drop the ammo and the revolver separately. Uh, we're gonna drop this sewing kit. Because we have a another sewing kit. We'll keep the whetstone on us. Uh, we're gonna drop this knife. We'll drop the hatchet as well. Uh, I don't need this can opener, so we're gonna drop that. And then let's, uh, let's spend a little bit of time just harvesting down some clothes. It is late in the day. Uh, but I don't mind traveling at night in Mystery Lake. As long as the weather is good, I have no problem traveling at night. Get some cloth. I mean, we might sleep a little bit. If it gets too late, we might just sleep out. Oh, nope. Oh, it sounds like the wind's dying down. Or picking back up. I can't tell anymore. Maybe I think the blizzard just broke. Um, we're gonna eat a little bit of food. I'm trying to kill our weight a little bit, so I'm trying to not... Probably leave some water here as well. Drop about half a gallon. Mm. We have so many flares. Um... You know, we'll leave the scrap metal here, too, since we're not going to need it for a while, if at all. I don't even know if we're going to... I don't know if we're going to travel to, uh... I don't think we're going to travel to Desolation Point or 401 Muskeg, probably 401 Muskeg, with... Um... Yeah... Mm. 4.1 wind proof. Yeah, no, we're just gonna harvest that light shell to be honest. Uh, it's 40 minutes. Yeah, let's go ahead. Beautiful. We have so much cloth. We're gonna have to drop off the cloth when we get home. Or like, to wherever we're going. Now, this is almost cold, our insulated flask, but that's okay. Um,. One trail boots. Can we harvest these? An hour and a half to harvest these trail boots. Um, da, 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 do I want to do it? For cured leather? And to save 2.2 pounds? Yeah, we're not going to wear them. That's fine. What about these combat boots? These are at 26%. 26%. And they're at 0.7%. I wonder what's better. Insulated boots, highly waterproof boots made of synthetic materials. The felt inner liner keeps your feet nice and warm. Their bulk will slow you down. Boots designed for war zones. Too bad they weren't made for winter. Heavy duty leather with good ankle support would offer fair resistance to animal bites. 
So better protection, but also weighs a little bit more. Uh, you know, we're gonna harvest these, but I don't think we're gonna harvest them now. We'll just leave them here for now. Um, we're still encumbered, but that's because we're sleepy. Maybe we uh, plop down for a little bit of a rest. I know there's gonna, there might be a deer outside. We still have those trailers across the way I want to hit up. Oh, I got cabin fever. Oh no. You've been indoors so long you feel like the walls are choosing in. You will be unable to sleep indoors for 24 hours. Oh no, well, that's not good. That's okay. You know, that's okay. That's fine. We'll be fine. Alright. Pull out our bow. There should be a, um... So we can't sleep inside for 24 hours. That should be fine. We're well rested. Um... Sometimes I think there's a deer- there's a deer carcass that's over here. Uh, and then I think what I'm actually gonna do is swap out that rosehip tea. I only made the rosehip tea because we had so much of it. Um, and not that rosehip tea is bad, but I think I might... Now, especially now that we have the cabin fever, what I might end up doing is swapping out the rosehip tea in the insulated flask for coffee. Because you can only have one, right? You can't have multiples. I think it'd be really cool if you could have multiples in one drink. Just make like a... Reishi... Reishi rosehip coffee concoction, you know? So it gives you all the benefits. But that's not possible. So, we might swap that out for coffee, especially now that we're tired. Or, um, have cabin fever. We might do that. Since we can't sleep indoors for 24 hours. Which is kind of a shame, but... Uh, no wolves that I can see. Oh, but the wolf could see me. That's okay. We're just gonna come up here and get in this trailer. Uh, we will pull out, uh, the storm lantern. I'm sure we're gonna find more lantern fuel, so I'm really not worried about it. Quality tools can stay. We're gonna be mindful of our weight. I can't believe we hit... I can't believe we hit cabin fever, you know? Oh, I left the pry bar. I'll take an accelerant. Take that tin of coffee. We'll eat that can of peaches. Take the soda. I can't believe we hit, uh, cabin fever. I've never had cabin fever before. We'll leave the spray paint. Do I go back and get that pry bar? I don't really want to. Anything underneath these beds? Sometimes they like to hide things under the beds. On top of the beds, maybe? No? Alright, we'll book it to the next, uh, the next one. I know it's pretty close. That wolf is out here. We're just gonna... Whee! Run, 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 run. And we're in. Alright. That's a book. Another orange soda. Another spray paint can. Don't need that. Just use one spray paint. Energy bar is good. Just use one spray paint to have around another soda. Uh, I'm not going to take that dusting sulfur. We're not going to be making any bullets, I don't think. I guess we'll take the antibiotics. Another soda. Man, they're just killing us with sodas. They're like, please, drink all the soda. Please get diabetes. That's how the game's going to kill us with diabetes. Okay. Um... That's about all we've got for this area. We've got, uh, let's check out this thing. We can always sleep in the fishing huts if we need to. I'll take that flare. But, or like, even one of the, uh, 
train cars, but I don't think we're really gonna have to. I'm gonna pull out this torch. Go ahead and light that. We're gonna keep on going. Uh, you know, he can he can walk with us for a little while. That's okay. I'm not too worried about him. I don't have any stink on me, so that's okay. And if he gets too close, we can just uh, send him packing with the uh, with the good old torch trick. So it'll be all right. We will try and maybe lose him in some bunnies or something. Looks like there's a, uh, that looked like a carcass. I kind of want to check underneath the bridge, but maybe not right now. Um, all right. He's getting a little close. I don't have any stink, so he should be okay. There's a train car up ahead. We're not encumbered. We're not injured. We don't have any stink, so we should, he should be pretty okay. He's just walking with us, you know? There's a train car up ahead. So. I don't know what scared him off, but that's okay. I'm not going to be mad about it. Now, if we wanted to, we could sleep inside this train car, but. We're not that tired right now, so I think we're just going to leave it be. And we're just going to come in here and see what's in here. Some scrap metal. Practical gunsmithing. You know, I'm not going to take that book. What was that? Oh, it's just some stuff piecing through the ground a little bit. Another hunting knife. 79%. I think we're better than that. 81. Yeah, we are. So we're going to leave that. I'm going to start being more mindful of our... Rifle cartridge can stay as well. Of our, um... Oops. Wait. We're only really going to be taking what we need from here on out. Well, at least that's my plan. We'll see. We'll see how that goes. I am still a loot hoarder. Uh, I think we're going to harvest this carcass, too. Uh, I don't think... I'm going to think I'm going to play it a little risky. And I don't think I'm going to light a fire. Is there anything around here? Rifle ammunition? I don't really want to take that. Grab the crow's feather. Four pounds? I don't think I could pass that up. Uh, we will take the gut on this. An hour and a half. Do we have enough food in our belly for that? You know what? Let's just make sure. We'll eat a small piece of deer. And then, yeah, we're just going to go. I'm not even going to light a fire. Let's just go. Whoop. Done. Look at that. We're mega stinky. Uh, we're a little cold, but that's okay. And uh, the weather is picking up a little bit. But what's cool about this is, watch this. Ready? We can go in here. Simple tools. Energy bar is good. Another revolver. With some ammo. We're gonna leave it. I don't... What we might do is this. We're just gonna pick this up. We're gonna equip it. Reload. And then we're just gonna drop it. Uh... So what we can do here, because we can't sleep indoors, right? Or we can't, yeah, we can't sleep indoors, but we can sleep outdoors. Oh, I don't think it's warm enough for me to sleep out here right now. I didn't start a fire. We just took some condition, I think. Oh, yeah, we did. It's cold. And take that flare. I should have started a fire. It's okay. We'll be all right. Hypothermia risk. Uh, the house is up above here. Where the camp office is up, up straight ahead here. 
Yeah, I should not have done that. I, you know, I thought I did the math quickly, right? It was 23 plus six and a half, and for some reason I was like, oh yeah, it's like 33. And it's not 33, it's like 29, which is below freezing. So, yeah, that was not a smart decision on my half. Look at that, double up. Another Storm Lantern. I'm just gonna kind of organize this area, a recycled can. Ketchup chips is fine. Stack of papers, which I don't need. Another tin of coffee. I'm gonna make a ton of coffee later. Just because we have so much of it. And then we can fill up our... We can fill up our... Flask with it. Another can. We'll grab that reclaimed. Nothing in there. We'll grab that line. We're gonna get encumbered here, but that's okay. We're gonna do some inventory management later. Oh, is that a... That's a whetstone. That's cool. Oh, wait. What's that? Pork and beans. I picked that can up. I didn't want to pick that can up. Nothing down here that's interesting. Search these file cabinets. Alright, let's check upstairs. Take your guesses for if we have a dead body. Three, two, one. No body. Grab that book. Simple parka, which we're not gonna need. Another bedroll, which will break down for cloth. Uh, note left behind. I should have read that. I didn't mean to do that. I'm sorry, guys. If you're looking forward to me reading that aloud. I should have, but I did not. Uh, we'll grab that book. We're just gonna grab that paper to get it out of the way. And, uh, let's search these drawers. Hopefully there's something good in here. Alright. I think that's about it for the camp office. There's a book here. Let's do a quick once over, and then I think what we're gonna do is start a fire. And let's grab that. And get these coffees cooking. And then we're gonna do some inventory management. Beautiful. Nice. Home sweet home. Things are starting to shape up. We got some stuff to do. I'm probably gonna go out and get some get some uh, sticks, what have you. But uh, I think this place is a good place to call the episode. I want to thank you guys so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. If you guys liked the episode, please don't forget to hit that thumbs up button. If you guys are looking forward to more of Homestead Living, please don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Until next time, guys, I will see you in the next episode.